Hello everyone! In this video, I will discuss how to delete users from DWP Catalog using Data Management Console. Specifically, I will demonstrate how to bulk delete users from the DWP Catalog if their login ID changes in the CTM People form using Data Management Console in Innovation Studio. The purpose of deleting users when their login IDs change is to allow the user sync process to detect them as new users and add them back to the DWP Catalog database with their new login IDs. Through this process, their entitlement to virtual marketplaces within DWP Catalog is restored and the end users can once again access services through the DWP portal. When doing the user deletion, I would suggest also opening a ticket with BMC SAS support so that support can schedule a one-off user sync run shortly after you delete the users. In general, the user sync is scheduled to run at 2 a.m. UTC each day on DWP Catalog Helix environments. So you can wait for the daily sync to run to pick up the new users, or as suggested, open a ticket with support to coordinate a single run of user sync after the user deletion work is complete. And as a side note, this applies to DWP Advanced version 20 wait only and does not apply to versions on converged platforms. So now I will go ahead and begin the demo. In this demo, I will go through the steps of identifying users in question and then bulk deleting them using the Data Load Management Console in Innovation Studio. So the first step is to identify and create a list of affected login IDs of users in ITSM. This would be the user's login IDs before they were updated. So in this demo, I have the following four users that I have identified. So these are the four users I have, um, M. Miles, whose login ID got updated to M. Miles with an uppercase and a number one, same with D. Moore, D. Murphy, and J. Picard. So these users' login IDs have been updated in ITSM CTM people form. However, that update did not make it into the, the DWP catalog because the user sync does not merge um, updates to login IDs. So now our next step is to delete these users in DWP catalog database so that the next time the user sync runs, these users will be re-added to DWP catalog. So now I'm going to log in to DWP Catalog Innovation Studio as an administrator. And once logged in, we will go to Data Management Console by clicking on the link. And from here, we will click on Visit Deployed Application. Once that's loaded, our next step is to download the template for our data load. So I'll click on Templates, and the template that we need is called Person Data with the Person Data template.xls form name. So if we click that, it will download the template for us. Let's go ahead and open this file. And now we will prepare the template for this data load. The next step is to clean up this template as we do not need all the columns here. So we will keep the column data load operation, data load status, and column 179, which is the unique person ID. Uh, so first, let me go ahead and delete these columns that we don't need. So I'm just going through and deleting all these columns now that we do not need. Okay, so now we are left with just these three columns, data load operation, data load status, and unique person ID. So the data load action that we need, there are, there are three values noted here, create, update, and delete. So for this demo, we will be doing a delete. So we'll use the delete data load action. And since I have four records to be deleted, I will just copy that so that I have four. And 
then the data load status will be populated during the data load and it should remain as blank. And finally, we have the unique person ID column, which is called 179. So now we will need to find the unique identifier for each of the login IDs. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Now to get the unique person ID of the users in question, we will go back to Data Management Console main page and click on Visit Deployed Application once again. And then from here, we will do an export of the Foundation Person form that contains the unique person ID of the user. So go ahead and click on Export. And here we will click on New Export button. And here we will define the data that we need to be exported. So let's go ahead and enter a name. So for example, I will just write user for deletion. And I will copy the same for description. Now we will need to add the definition and related filters for this export. So for the record here, we will need the foundation data. So let's go ahead and find foundation here. See so here is foundation and we will need the people form within foundation data. So let's go ahead and select person. And now that that's selected, we will select the fields. So the following fields are required for the export type of person, last name, first name. So we will select all those required fields. And, and as well, we will add login ID and the GUID, GUID which is the unique person ID. All right, so let me go ahead and do that. So type of person. that and then first name last name login ID and then finally the GUID which is the unique person ID that we need so that now that all those fields are selected I will go ahead and save this form now the next step is to select the name of the export we just created and then click on export data. So this is the form, the export form that we just created. So I will select that and then I will click on export data. What this will do is it will process the data and export it for us. Okay, now we, you will see that the status is not processing. And if I refresh that, it turns into process. That means that our export data is now ready. So I will click on the export output table, which is this one right here, export output file. And I will click that. And let's open this file. So this is what the exported file looks like. So it will export all the users um, in the Innovation Studio, the DWP catalog database. So you will have a large number of users in this export. You can obviously add additional filters to limit your exported data. But for this demo, I just went ahead and exported all the users. So now what I need to do is to find the login IDs in question and then grab the GUI to put into our template for the data load. So I will go ahead and search for the first user, um, M Miles. Okay. And I see this is M Miles, and and this is the user's GUID right here. So I will go ahead and copy that, and then I will open my other template. and put that unique ID, person ID right here. And I will do the same for Dmore. And grab this user's unique login ID. Do it for D Murphy as well.
And then finally, I will do it for JK card. Now, um, we can also run a query in the database that will give you just the list of um, unique IDs along with their login IDs. That is something that can be run against the database if you have a large number of users um, involved. So we, that's definitely something that we can do. And in the blog, I have listed the query that is required. So if you don't have access to the DWP catalog database, you can submit a, a support ticket and ask um, support to run that query for you to get the, the unique person ID um, for all the users in question. So you don't have to go through this manual exercise. So that's also an option if you'd like to do that. Okay, so now that, the, that our file is ready, I will go ahead and save this um, Excel sheet. So now our next step here is to import our file into the import section and then run the data load, which will now finally delete the end users. So I will go ahead and click on new import and I will find our attachment which we have right here person data template for deletion. I will open that and then I will just go ahead and copy and paste my file name like that. And I'll click on Quick Data Import. Okay, now our prepared file is here, Person Data Template. And then the next step to run this import and to delete those four users is to click on the Person Data Template. And then we will go and click Load Data. So now again, the status will turn into Processing. And as you refresh that, when it's done, it will say processed. So if there's any error at all, it will appear right here. And when we look at the status, it was processed successfully. So if there are errors with your data load at one point, that will also be shown here in the status list. So now it's done. Our users have been deleted. So let's take a look at this data load result. Yeah, and we can see that the users have been deleted and that it has been processed. Now that we have successfully deleted the old login IDs of the users using Data Load Management Console, Let's do a couple quick tests just to validate that the users no longer exist in DWP Catalog. So here I have logged in to Digital Workplace Catalog as an administrator. And I will go and check for the users using the user roles and clicking on Add User, which will load the user directory of DWP Catalog database. So here I will search for my users and Miles. And the user no longer exists, which is why we expect it and D more and then we have D Murphy and lastly J Picard so the users no longer exist here if you want you can also check the user um, form in innovation studio to validate there as well and there is a login name column which I will use to filter for the users Login name, so let me just go ahead and add the users. And Miles, D. Moore, D. Murphy, and then J. Picard. And click on Apply, and we see that the users are no longer found in the user form as well. So now the next step here is to wait for the user sync to run.
to pick up the newly updated users' login IDs in CTM People record, and then they will be added to DWP Catalog. And as I mentioned earlier, in BMC Helix SAS implementation, the user sync is scheduled to run at 2 a.m. UTC each day. So you can contact BMC support for assistance with scheduling a manual one-time run of user sync if necessary to pull the users into DWP Catalog earlier if you like. Okay, so the user sync will pick up the newly updated users from CTM People form and then add them to the DWP Catalog database. After the user sync is successfully run, the virtual marketplace entitlements of the users will be restored and they will once again see the services in DWP. So in this um, video, I shared how to restore an uh, a group of users' virtual marketplace entitlements in DWP Catalog in the event that the user CTM people login ID has changed. I hope this information is helpful. Please subscribe to our channel, BMC Remedy and Discovery, for more BMC Helix videos. Thank you for watching.